Defense attorney is the latest to criticize the Waco biker shooting arrests. And Dan is here with details. Well, Tim, some of those arrested as well as members of the criminal justice system are pushing back against the process going on in McLennan County following the Waco biker shootout. Former Judge Mike Snipes sent Eric Williams to death row for the Kaufman County District Attorney murders. Snipes is now an attorney and his firm is representing Matt Clendenin, a 30-year-old father and former firefighter who was arrested at Twin Peaks on May 17th. Clendenin is suing the city of Waco, the police department, and the DA for false arrest. His attorneys say he and several other suspects were arrested without probable cause on fill-in-the-blank criminal complaints, meaning their names were filled in on forms that had the same allegations across the board. Clendenin is part of the Scimitars, one of the biker groups that met at the Waco restaurant where the shooting happened. He claims he never planned any violence, was not involved in any. His attorneys put up a polygraph report to back his claim. Clendenin says the arrest and the criminal case have taken a huge toll on his family and his business. I just hope that, you know, by being here and, and putting this out there, that, uh, the, the, the public can under, you know can understand that there was injustice done here. But having served as a judge and looked at the facts of this case and compared it to the law, there are just some things that are wrong in this case. The shootout last month in Waco left nine people dead. 123 of the 177 suspects arrested after the shooting have now been released from jail. All of them were booked on million dollar bonds. But many of them, including Matt Clendenin, got out on reduced amounts. Clendenin says his lawsuit adds possibly unwise publicity uh, to all of this and may further uh, tarnish his name. But he says someone needs to be held accountable in this case. Dan Godwin on Good Day.